Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming where we are continuing our let's play as the Parthians in Rome Total War Remastered. Now last time we took Ionia, we took Sardis here, uh, we're also pressing on to the Greeks and we are pushing back the Egyptians. Now the Scythians um, should hopefully die soon as well, uh, we'll get rid of them. But once the Egyptians are dead, we will have no one really to compete with in this area, and these settlements are trash. So what we might do is we might send one army up here, and one army across to deal with the House of Brutii. So it is soon we will be dealing with the Romans. Now here, we have these guys. Um... Now these guys can all move, so what I might do, God, they have so little troops, who who can't move and who can move, that's the one issue, Oops, up to there, so, probably send you across, ah, I was hoping we could hit uh, Halicarnassus, but it doesn't look like it. Now these guys are unhappy. Probably put the tax down. That'll be fine. Uh, is that for us to build? I guess so. I guess it'd be good to have an armor down here. So let's do that. Try to get you guys in. So it looks like you are the only. I mean, that's the only army we have down here. We're kind of trying to build two, so that's fine. But these two armies up here course we're going to sally forth now it thinks it's got an advantage because it's got chariots but of course it doesn't uh, it might be a bit of a longer load screen just because it's the first of this play session so we are doing quite well we have taken a lot of land we're on very hard of course so obviously you move a bit slower um, but honestly i think parthia is a very fun faction to play like if you want to move fast if you want to destroy things the one thing that is annoying is the sieges with your horse archers but field battles are just a dream and of course once you got that uh, experience of the horse horse archers they're just unstoppable really um, unless you've got literally a full stack of urban cohorts with gold armor um, you know if, if all our archers are gold experience at least um, we should we shouldn't have too much issues but we, we we're struggling to get experience really I think it's just because we're winning battles so easily um, if we're winning them you know where we lose quite a few troops then it might be one of them where we start we actually get more experience than what uh, what's shown to us now they're all just gonna be there keep these guys Ooh, spins quite quick keep these guys here I um, see I'm tr preferring to try and transition to the archers just because look at their range like okay these guys archers archers missile attack of seven slingers four they're a bit worse in melee but I mean hopefully we never have to use them in melee so we're gonna transition away from the slingers for everyone if we can and try and get archers. We'll keep the general down this side just in case. Get them all running out of there. It's going to take them a while. Get these guys here. Get the general out here as well. I mean, he might want to charge us. Honestly, that wouldn't be too bad. Like, that wouldn't be too much of an issue. Gonna keep, gonna keep skirmish mode on just for now. We should be able to do most of these battles pretty quickly now. Keep this guy here. Of course, once again, no melee troops apart from the general. Now, the thing you've got to remember about playing Parthia is. Like these units, these horse archers, are the most cost effective units in the game. 
So you want to just use that to your advantage. Um, spamming out as many as possible. And you can see how much damage they do in every battle. Um, they are absolutely brutal. Now, if you do get caught with them, the one issue is their morale. Like, look at the, um, the morale 4. So, generally, if you have one route, you have them all route. Um, which doesn't help if you're fighting chariots and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but that is the main the main issues when you're fighting chariots and all that sort of stuff. Now these guys think... I still don't get how they manage to shoot each other. Like, how have you shot your own man there? I guess we are getting slightly shot by the... Right. Go back. Stay up there. Who are you, by the way? You're Desert Axeman. Let's get rid of them. Um, who's who's on skirmish? Okay, two archers. You two on skirmish as well. Yeah, they are. We're just going to shred through these guys now. See, I need these guys to be high experience. Like, they are not getting much experience. See, the, the, these are the highest ones with two. I guess these are new armies. Um, but our original army should be getting some experience now. I think. I guess we'll come down here. You guys, how are you not running? I guess I'm uh, pressing... I'm been playing a little bit of third age and obviously on third age you have to press press R to uh, get them all to run all the time rather than them run automatically when you all to just be firing at the general the chariot general we haven't even taken them anyone down yet if you can fire at the chariot general oh 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 yeah Desert Cavalry. It's a good little uh, charge by them. How have we... Okay, we've got one down. Got a few down. Oh, Jesus. I did not mean to run through those guys. Right. Get behind them. Um, I'd rather the chariots take take the, use the brunt of their charge on on my uh, guys, on my slingers. Get out, get out, get out! We're gonna try get this general away. Uh, I actually don't care about my slingers. Archers, you can come here. Yeah, we're just getting destroyed. How are these? Uh, I don't understand how these guys are not. Running, like run. Do you know what? Quick, just a quick little charge. Should break them. Unless it breaks our men. I would hope it doesn't break our men. Kill them all. If you can. Turn that back on. Get back down this way, please. Away from all these guys. Go, 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 go. I know we should be shooting these guys now. They're withdrawing. Um, Alright, well, let's do this then. How many have we lost? Oh, God. They withdrawing as well. Prefer they wouldn't if they didn't withdraw and we could kill them all. Yes, they are. So they're going to try and avoid us. That's one good thing. We can try and kind of do this. They may charge us still. Oh, we are. Oh, we are exhausted. That's why we're slower. We're just really, really slow. They're going to get. 
They're going to get hit by the uh, the towers that we have on the walls, which is great. There we are, brilliant. They should run soon. I think they were killed by the walls, which is excellent. No one here is firing yet. So how many did they lose in the end? Apparently they have zero, but that's obviously some of them running away. 54, yep, they should fully die now the general's dead. Knumhotep, he is dead. Excellent, another one of the Egyptians dead. Now, it looks very much like the big three cities are undefended. I hope they've not upgraded. They probably have upgraded one or two to huge city. Um, because we will always have a culture problem there if, it's, if that's the case. Now, we're going to try and use you... What's uh, I know they've updated it so that you can't like merge as easily by just dragging them. But I don't like that. Why? Uh, okay, that's not been too helpful. See, this just makes it incredibly frustrating. Like why is this why is this how how it has to be? It's not giving anyone any, any experience either, but it does make it easier to retrain these guys. Um, and of course, we're going to leave one of these units to as the as a bodyguard. Now we have to move up here as well. Now we could move against these guys. I honestly don't care though. I don't. <laughs> I'm not really too bothered. I prefer to keep this guy up here. And if uh, if it gets to the point where he's attacked, I really don't care. Might just hire some mercenaries for him. If there is any. Nope, there isn't. That's fine though. I'm not really bothered. He does have some movement, so he can move still. Now, we'll send you to try and fight these guys. But I doubt... They are going to exist, so we might actually have to send you around here to take that rebel settlement. And if we do that, that will be fine. Go away, advisor. Enemy army routes, of course. Red new expense. Oh, shield bearer, that's good. We like shield bearers. Add some hit points. Now you should be able to retrain these guys. Hoping. Do you have a? What do you have? Just yeah, well, how is Antioch still just a minor city? Nine thousand population is not good. How are we looking? Seleucia. Seuss is a large city. That's good. We we are getting these guys here now. We are getting these guys to get war elephants. So hopefully we'll get war ele elephants soon. Send them out to all our armies. We'd like one war elephant per army, to be honest. Right, so it looks like we have moved. So, let's end the turn. See what happens. Oh, come on, Egypt. Don't be silly. Oh, come on. You know what's going to happen. They should know what's going to happen anyway. Okay. So, let's have a look at our armies, actually. So, this one has one guy who's good. Look at that 12 missile attack versus the 7 that you start with. So, it's just so powerful, this experience. Now, we have got two hillmen. Why have we got the hillmen rather than archers? I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter what infantry units you take. Uh, hillmen or archers. Right, Jerusalem and Palmyra. Palmyra will get destroyed. Ooh, Spartan athlete plus one to security. This Kuru, he's got a Spartan athlete and an Athenian democrat, plus one to unrest. Well, that's not great. Um, but I guess it doesn't matter. Right, let's go take this next wonder. Now, we have quite a bit of infantry in this stack, so I can't remember why. I think we were trying to fight these rebel... There was like a rebel stack that was walking around, so we are trying to fight them. Um, 
But once we're kind of secure on Anatolia, we will move some of these guys forward. Honestly, we probably should move you these guys, these three forward first now anyway. Um, at least to Ankira. Right, let's get the retraining done. Now, we do not have enough for two full stacks here. So, should we get recruiting some more horse archers? I think so. I'm losing a little bit of money. That's not great. Right, Frasper. can have whatever. Seleucia. Yep, you are going for the Councillor's Chamber. So, Seleucia is going to be a large city as well. That's good. Uh, Campus Alani doesn't matter. We'll just keep building to keep that productivity high. Well, while we have the money, we might as well. We're not... Um, we'll get that uh, right there. Katayas. See, a lot of these places out here will start becoming more and more unrest. Uh, having more and more unrest as we uh, keep going along. Because uh, we're going to move our... We've moved our capital to, to Antioch already. Obviously, we might move it further. Um... Although in terms of like keeping the law and you know the history, I know it's uh, I know it's alternate history, but in terms of keeping it to a place that would make sense, Antioch seems to be probably the last bastion that would make sense in terms of eastern uh, the mix of empires here that was part of the Persian Empire. I know the Persian Empire came all the way up to Greece. Um, so we could potentially make Pergamum or something like that. One of the uh, one of the ones. Um, Damascus. Is that the last thing we can build there? Okay, Tanias. Right. Okay, they're going for Tanias. I do have, only have two peasants. I don't know what they have. That's the one issue. If they're horse archers, our general will have a bit of a tough time trying to fight them. How is that as far as we can walk? Is is you got a major issue? Are you ill or something? Um, we'll go for stone wall at Tanias, just because it makes it nice and square in the Eastern style rather than the barbarian style. Don't like the barbarian style. Um, right. Yep, we're looking good. We've still got ten thousand in the bank. You're besieging. That's my guy. You're making twenty four. Terrible. I, I honestly don't know how to use merchants. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they're like. We'll just keep building watchtowers either s to the side of the army, so we know what's going on, uh, so we can see out there in case anyone's coming. Right. Dealing with that is going to be really easy. Although they do have them chariots. Who? What sort of idiot attacks this with that? <laughs> the Egyptians, that's who. Um, have I just started? Yeah. So we have no siege battles to do. We just have those ones. Um, sally out battles. So let's go for this one first. I don't like that this... Uh, this. But you know what it might do? If we can destroy that besieging army, it will remove the siege, which we will do. We will destroy that besieging army. Then we might actually withdraw. So, let's see. So, yeah, let's do it. Um, this is a day of battle. We will stand together. See how powerful just two units are. The one good thing about just two units, easy to maneuver. So we might be able to just bloody the break these guys pretty easily with overwhelming force. Um, where are my peasants coming in at? Yeah. Stay there, buddy. I don't want you getting killed. Where are their units coming in? So one issue. Let's see how they are. They're still eager. We'll go either side of them. Where? 
Right, okay. There's their proper army coming. You fire into the back of these guys, you fire into the back of these. Right, get rid of that. Don't like their chariots coming this way. And it's a chariot general. Um, they will just destroy our troops if we, uh, um, if we're not careful. I'm hoping. Right, that's destroyed these guys. Yeah, kill as many as you can. Yeah, we got. They've only got eleven left. Let's go up here. I just want to discharge these guys in the back if we can. Just like that. Yep, yep, they've got. Right, let's uh, let's get that rid of them. Let's see how we do against this general. Not very good, <laughs> I'm guessing. Get up, get get away. If we get caught by them, we are dead. Right, 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 that's fine. Obviously, you should only be firing at the general. Have we killed the chariot yet? I think they started with 21, so... Guessing we've killed one. Can't see, though. I'm going to chase us with these, whoever these are. Bedouin archers are just absolute trash. Camels in this game are... Unless you disagree, if anyone disagrees with me and wants to tell me camels are good in this game, then fair enough, but in my opinion, they are shocking. They're like, well, they're basically just terrible cavalry, so there's literally no point in them. How much, we've nearly got half ammo left, right, oh, let's get this way, if we can. Right, we'll have to we'll have to manually Oh oh go on They will come back that is the one issue that we have Don't like catching the chariots like that Go 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 get out Yep yeah, that's half that, that unit dead so bit of silly silly thing to do yep yeah, now they are routing Okay, you can kill my peasants. Like I'm, I'm really not bothered by that. What it does is allows me time to shoot you. Um, rally. Yep, that's fine. All right, get out of this way. I just don't think we're going to be strong enough to take down these chariots. But well, that's fine. We have a load of troops, Antioch. We c oh, peasants have killed him! <laughs> you absolute imbecile! Killed by peasants. I want you to just chase these guys down. Harry them! Oh. Yep, nope. <coughs> a creature? It's very mean. Whoa. This is the issue now. They see this. It's what I was talking about about the morale. If you get caught, you are screwed. But you know, I think we've done a pretty good job. Yeah, I think we're doing an all right job. Like we're not going to win this. Um, how much more damage can we do though? That's the one thing. Oi! Ah, uh, he's broken. That's fine. We inflicted more than them, and most of their casualties were uh, peasants. I just wanted to break the siege, so hopefully that siege is broken now. Um, that would be good. Let's see it. What? 
Oh, 36 left. No way. But they don't have they don't have the chariot general anymore, so this should be enough. If not, we'll send over police and mercenaries are shocking, but we'll send two over. We don't need any more than that to be sent over. They are just horses. Um they're all those chariots, that's horrible. What are you? You're just an archer. See, I don't, know. I don't know what it thinks, but it's mental. Yep, I don't want that AI unit coming in and getting destroyed. Just chariot archers, Pharaoh's bowmen, fine. I mean, our hail of arrows should be a lot bigger. That's all I, all I can say, really. Chariots, nightmare to deal with, but these are chariot archers, so they shouldn't actually be too difficult to deal with. They shouldn't actually attack us uh, directly, charge us until they've run out of arrows. Mm. Right, we'll go around this side again, get a bit of how oh, do we want? Oh, that looks like a nice bit of high ground. I'll tell you what, we'll go here. So one thing about this, it's, it's, it's just nice not having about 100 different types of troops to, uh, to manage as well. It's nice having, oh, this this is literally it, just horse archers. <laughs> now, it might seem a bit boring, but obviously we'll start getting elephants and all that sort of stuff. We'll start getting elephants, we'll start getting cataphracts. Um, obviously, we'll just use this cataphract sparingly. Like, if we get to the point where we've used all our horse archers' ammo, then uh, we'll send the cataphracts in. But up to that point, we, we'll be fine. Don't think I'm going to send these guys out this time. It's a bit pointless. We'll just send the general in front of the door. If they charge into the city, that actually is good for me because chariots cannot manoeuvre in cities. They can manoeuvre even less than I can manoeuvre these guys. So, uh, you know, pretty... I wonder whether we can fire yet. No, even with that high ground advantage. So our range isn't that much, that's one thing. Should destroy that phalanx. Are they just withdrawing? Is that it? They, they've just gone. Alright, well, that was pointless. <laughs> they killed five, apparently. I don't know how. Shooting. Hi guys, sorry I've just done <laughs> quite a bit um, while the voiceover wasn't recording but basically all we've done is move our troops around, uh, it was the end of last turn anyway, we've moved our troops down to here, move these troops across um, and I destroyed the rebel navy here so that's all and we've done a couple of buildings and that's about it. Um, now you don't want to... That general is annoying. I know there's only 24. We would probably be able to stay out of their way, though. So, get you in here. So, we did end a turn, and nothing happened in the end turn. Um, so, you haven't missed anything apart from just moving a few troops around. Now, we are ready to move these guys out. Then we go hyper-aggressive. Um, and I don't want to deal with Petra. Then we go straight for Alexandria if we can. Straight there. Get some more experience than these guys. They're so in inexperienced. It's horrible. Um, yeah, so we built a few buildings and that's about it. Right, now let's see whether we can deal with this. Should be a quick little battle. Narrow streets can trap units from all, so protect their flanks, really. Wow. Excellent. I mean, it's it, it's a better day to live, to be honest. These guys will break ASAP. Alright, 
Right, we'll uh, get all these guys moving. Get the uh, spears into shape. So let's see whether we can start firing on the uh, general. I just we just need to kill as many chariots as we can before we engage them in in battle. Get these spears. These spears are shockingly bad. Look at their two morale. Like it's it's awful. But Nubian spearmen are awful, also really bad two morale as well. So they're pretty much equal. Make sure you are firing on these guys. Right, let's surround these Nubians. Nubian spearmen. Get in the back of them. And if they turn, we'll start fighting them the other way. They won't turn though. They will break. And then after that, all we need to do is uh, kill the rest of these chariots. Yeah, they are broken. In order to kill like all their troops, right, we'll keep these relatively thick formations because chariots will just run straight through them. Go over here if we can. They're just firing so little arrows because they're such small units. We do still start off with the same amount of arrows though, so we should have pretty much the same. I'd rather these guys f be firing at my uh, spears, so that's fine. Let them do that. Okay, we just got an experience. Oh. Just press windowed, uh, which doesn't help. When you're trying to do something fast, <laughs> not going to get them. Oh well. Well, they won't be destroyed, but it was worth fighting them anyway. We'll fight these other couple of siege battles. Oh, man of the hour. You know what? We will take that. What's his name? Interfernes. Publicly loyal and his confident commander. Brilliant. Um, how are we doing for commanders over here? We only have one there. One there. We will bring you across as a governor. Um, and we'll probably bring all you guys to Jerusalem. Might even get you commanding this new army uh, of Persian cavalry that's being built up here. Oh, we can also recruit Persian cavalry up here. We'll take another four. That should be quite a few. We'll also get the war elephants when they're, when that's uh, that thing's done. So we've got this battle to fight and this battle to fight this turn. So let's do that. Move these guys first. I think we'll go to Sardis. Still recruiting some troops here. Also getting that armor, which upgrades the missile weapons, which is what we really want. This is going to be nice, you know. This is going to be nice to fight this. Some Cretian archers and some hoplites. They also have normal hoplites, but militia hoplites as well. Uh, but we should have plenty of arrows. It's only wooden walls, so we'll have plenty of arrows to fire over the wooden walls. Um, but yeah, good. It'd be nice to fight a siege battle without just pure um, horse archer troops that are impossible to move around the settlement. So, yeah, actually looking forward to this one will be good and we'll square off once we've taken this and we've taken Bostra we're, we're nearly finished you know squaring off Egypt and Anatolia at the same time uh, which will be great we, we can just focus all our energy on the assault on Italy um, and we've done this pretty quickly I don't know what turn we are on uh, but we've done it reasonably quickly especially from the quite hard starting um, starting um, region do not want you guys on the ram. I want you guys firing. I also want you guys firing. 
Um, we'll get the Hoplites going forward and we'll get these guys. Bastanes. We'll get the Bastanes in to fight because they are brutal. We'll also send you in. Barbarian Cavalry. So these guys have two hit points. Uh, ah, it just doesn't show. Do do do. No. Th okay, the Thracian ones. I'm guessing they don't have two hit points. Cretian archers have extra long range. So, get there. Get running. Get you guys here. Hopefully, we're not getting fired at by the others. Let's get forward a bit, actually, with the Cretians. They should be firing like hell now. I don't care about the Rodian Slingers, they're sh trash. Prefer to be firing into the side of the Hoplites, which we are doing brilliantly. Nice one. How are you not firing? What's the deal here? Fire into those guys. Plenty of arrows getting thrown about. The battling... I can never get over that battling ram comment. Why does he say battling ram and not battering ram? <laughs> Cretians get there. Not use much ammo, but... Let's get a bit forward, I think. Yep, yeah, nice one. Where's our other hoplite, actually? Oh. Maybe we should have got you uh, in here. Also, we're just going to fire still anyway. We've nearly killed half their troops just through the arrows. Yeah, keep running past. It's, it's actually quite good for us. We are getting some loss. I'm guessing they're getting fired up by their units. Doesn't matter. The one also, probably why these horse archers are the best unit in the game. They only take one, uh, a level one stable to recruit. So that's amazing. Cretans, how are you doing? Get you in here. Barbarians. I don't care about the barbarian guys. Who are these? Go kill those Cretan archers, will you? It's your shock troops, right? They're impetuous, so they want to go fight these guys. Ah, yes. Uh, while we're here doing that, we should probably move you guys getting shot. General, come up to here. Uh, yeah, we'll get that cavalry in there. There's, there's literally hardly any troops left. You come up here. We should be able to do it. We should be able to kill the rest of them just with these guys. Where's the other hoplites? Really don't. It's a bit overkill sending you around this way, but we will do anyway. Yeah, Barbarian Cavalry. Good one. Let's get into the back of these. Kill the general, actually. I should have war cried, but it doesn't matter a huge deal. Get a new phalanx formation, if you would, please. They're getting fired up by who? By our own, our own troops, probably. To be honest, I do not care about these mercenaries, though. That's the one annoying thing. Now they're on the square, we're not going to be able to mass route them. We'll charge into the back, though. Yeah, we do not. Oh, there we are. Brilliant. They killed 116. 116 of what? Uh, 
Uh, how about the rest of... Oh, that's theirs. Whoops. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, we did lose a bit of horse archers. Um, those Thracians, we lost 50. They killed 80, though. Uh, and the cavalry, we lost 13. No, no problem. No problem. Nice little siege battle, that. I forgot about the island as well. We've got to take that island. We've got to take um, Cyprus. Keep enslave, enslave these guys. They are Greek. Okay, the mausoleum reduces building times by 50, uh, 20%, which is actually pretty good. It's amazing that Halicarnassus is still a town. We'll have a look at all our stats at the end of this episode, as usual, as well. Um, which will be good. I'll send you guys back to Sardis. So, we do want... To get to the point where we have two armies here uh, but at the minute we're fine with one uh, but we'll keep recruiting especially once we've got that armory uh, just to keep just to keep them happy um, and move to we can basically once we've got two armies we'll be able to take this and move two armies one through Rhodes and Kydonia uh, and then um, one into the Greek Peninsula is the Greek is that known as the is it the Aegean that, this peninsula is the Aegean Peninsula. I don't actually know. But um, let me know if it is. Or let me know if I'm being extremely dumb. Because it's probably the case. I have chariots. I hate... Just, just go away with your chariots. You know what? Obviously our goal in this game is to, in, to, to beat Rome. To take over Rome. Um, in terms of thematically, it would work better if we took over Rome and, you know, so, sort of the southern Mediterranean, all of North Africa, maybe Spain. Going into the Gallic lands is, obviously, it doesn't work very much law-wise, but we are the new Parthian Empire, so it should work. But, you know, it might not. Um, but I, that's one person that I don't want to face, is the Briton, the Bretons hate the Bretons. The Bretons and their chariots are infuriating, almost as infuriating as these Egyptians. Uh, we're probably going to have to do it four at a time like we've done in the past. Um, I don't want to send a hillman in against them, especially tiny units. Get these guys forward. Same with you guys. They'll be on top of each other so they might actually hit each other a bit. Doesn't look like it too too much actually at the minute. God, that's a lot of arrows going down. One guy with good experience, so hope they send those chariots forward. They're sending something forward. Have they got two units of chariots? No, I thought they did. Oh, they will send. They're sending them forward. That's good. Come on. Ah. Terrible. Right, let's go. God, it's... It's horrible bit moving these guys. Okay, one of them can fire. They bring all of them into here. That's excellent because it means all the rest of these guys can hit them. And they can fire while they're moving. That's another great thing about the horse archers is they can fire while they're moving. Right, come on. Guys, okay, get that way. Come on. Shoot them down. Yeah, they're dying quite quickly out here now. Which is excellent. That's what we wanted. How many have they got left? 27. Come on, we're missing a lot though. It's because the wall's in the way. And they're just right behind the wall. If they were back here, it'd be nice. Get there. Okay, they are going to engage us in melee. 
How many is left? They are wavering though. Let's see whether we do this without routing. Well, these are two experienced troops. Excellent. We killed them all. Nice one. Let's see where these these guys go. Ooh. Didn't even see that. I like how it's got the red thing now, but obviously it doesn't help a huge amount. Why don't you guys just go here, actually? If we can position so that these guys can come shoot them, if we can drag them around a bit, that'd be good. No, they don't want to. They don't want to run into the hail of arrows. I don't. I don't blame them. They just don't know what to do now. Which is fine. They. Who are they? Are they Nubians? They are. Yeah, they're, they're trash. They're not. Gonna, they're, they're not. They're not. Just gonna get f shot to pieces by these guys. They should be doing anyway. Oh, we've not got fire at will on. That should help a bit. There we are. Perfect. That's actually a good siege battle with with those guys. Lost a whole nine troops. And we destroyed a chariot unit. See, that's the thing with chariots. Like, sometimes they do nothing. And other times, they absolutely pummel you. Um, right, we're going to look for the exterminate now. It's a large town. Prepare... Trying to ISIS. Ah, that was the other thing I forgot to do down here. We don't want a uh, shrine to Hermes. Definitely not. We want shrine to Zoroastra everywhere. Get the peasant. Yep. Uh, right, Bostra. What do we want to build here? Probably the shrine to Zoroastra. Could do the stables, but it is three turns and it's a bit pointless. Get the peasants. Cool. Where are we looking? Oh, we got a new merchant. Of Thebes. Uh, wild animals. We'll go with the gold. Obviously gold's going to be worth a lot more. Right guys, I think that'll be everything for this episode. So thank you very much. And hopefully I'll see you again on the next episode.